Hello everyone, it's Andrew from GemTCG and in today's video I have some very exciting news for TCG player sellers out there because now on TCG Automate you can list your cards directly to TCG player and this is something that people have been asking for a lot and it has been a big struggle to get it added because there's just so many different things that come into play for TCG player and the upload part is a little bit more complex but I finally got it to work. So now whenever you create a batch in TCG Automate, you can upload it directly to TCG Player. And let me show you exactly how it works and some things that you need to keep in mind and consider. So the first thing is condition matters a lot. You can't list something as one condition and then go and change it easily. You have to go into the listing and change it if you do it that way. So make sure you're conditioning them properly. And then the next thing is, make sure you are putting the correct version. So let's just say we get this Pikachu card. Make sure it's the normal one, if it's normal, or if it's the reverse holo one, select reverse holo. Otherwise, you're gonna have things in the wrong condition or a wrong variation, and it's gonna cause a lot of issues and inventory errors. So make sure you're labeling things properly. And the last thing is, you cannot have duplicate entries in the CSV that you upload. And what I mean by that is, let's say we have, there's not gonna be any duplicates in this batch, but let's say this Steelix right here also showed up right here. You can't do that, so what you have to do before you make the TCG player CSV is combine the duplicates. So that way, instead of having two separate Steelix cards, it'll just update the quantity to two, and then that's it. You don't have to do anything else after that. And then once you have the batch ready, you're all set on TCG Automate. You go here on this download drop down and you'll select TCG player. And then you just click download and it creates a CSV of all the data that you you will need. And then you go to the link. So this link is right here. Upload your CSV to TCG player and you'll click on that. Then you'll I don't know if you need to select Pokemon when you or like the TCG that you're doing this for. But I just click on it just in case. And also actually one other thing is it currently works for Pokemon English, Japanese, and then Magic, One Piece, and Yu-Gi-Oh! And I might add Lorcana as well, but we'll see. And then what you'll want to do is click on this Import to Staged button. Click Choose File. And then you'll just select, I believe it was this one. You click Continue. It'll show how many records there were. Click continue again, and you see here 63 products successfully imported. <clears throat> and then you'll click view stage inventory. I would recommend doing this all the time. There wasn't an option to click move to live, but it's always best to just look it over before you submit, just to make sure you don't wanna have any issues that you overlook, and then it bites you, it bites you later down the road. And basically that's it, it's already all the cards are here we got three azelf cards the whole batch is here the market prices are here too i have a 2x multiplier so that's why my numbers are so high and another great thing about this is that you no longer have that ghost inventory issue that chase from tcg ball kings was talking about where if you're if you're regularly listing cards to tcg player since you're basically overwriting the quantity, there could be instances where you update your quantity at the same time that somebody buys a card, which then causes a weird discrepancy in the actual inventory that you have. Whereas this one, it, it only adds to the quantity. It's not overwriting it. So if I click three here, but I, or, but I had already two listed, it'll be a quantity of five in my actual listing and not just three so that's going to help a ton and will definitely prevent a lot of issues from happening and then once you finish and actually one other thing so right here you can see this is the reverse hollow version this is just the regular regular it goes on this is a hollow foil so it handles all that for you you don't have to worry about the different printings and all that and then once you're ready, what you'll want to do is go up here and click this move to live button. 
So I don't want to do that because I don't want to list these to TCG Player. They're going to go on eBay. But once you do that, it's ready. It's it's live. That's it. And then another thing you can do is I believe it's this one, Marketplace Pricing Tool. So if your prices are a little bit higher or lower and you just want it to match the market, you can click this and then click Update Prices and then it will match them. So now instead of my price being $12, it's $631, $122, $108. So it matches the market price for you. That's just like an extra real-time sync because at the moment on TCG Automate, it prices your cards based on the market price of when you uploaded the batch and not day to day, but that is going to be something I'm going to add feature here in this drop down. So that way you can click sync prices and then it'll just update your prices based on today's market. But for the time being, if you ever need quick fix, you can just do that and then it'll update it right away. And another thing you could do, I'm not sure how useful this will be, but it's just something creative that I, figured I'd let you guys know is this list by set feature. So let's say you want to list a bunch of cards from 151. You can go and do select the 151 set. And let's say you have a bunch of, let's just do the rare cards from now, which is 25 cards. You'll create a batch here. And then let's say you wanted to list 10 of each quantity. You'll select all and put 10. So now I have 10 of all of them. And I'll keep the price as is. I don't want to change that. Then I'll just download this CSV. And then let's clear this inventory for now so that way it doesn't get confusing. And then we'll, we'll upload that one. And then as you see right here, it just added 10 of each quantity for each card that we had in that batch. And you can do that in the other batch too, like in the manually created batches too. But this is just a really easy way to get it all done relatively, relatively quickly and speed up the process when you have a ton of cards from a certain set or certain rarity, whatever. So give it a try. If you are a TCG player seller, this is definitely something that will help you out a ton. And if there's anything that you want me to add that might help you as a seller on TCG player, let me know and I'll try my best to get that added. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.